very haunted and they don't even do burials here anymore so we're hoping to see what we can pick up tonight so join us on our adventure The cemetery was opened in 1855 and closed in 1917. There's heaps of famous people buried here. That made Napier what it is today. So it ran from 1955 to 1917. thing is guys, places don't have to be in the dark to be haunted or to have spirit show themselves which is why people think oh you have to go at night time. The only reason we do do a lot of investigations in the dark is because it's quieter. You haven't got as much traffic, you haven't got as many people walking past. But spirit are around us 24-7. It's not just that they're only there in the night, it's just in the night it's a lot quieter. We can hear them. They can show themselves to us better. And there's some very old graves here, 1872. It's a very uneven ground, so we have to be very careful where we walk. So if there's any spirits here this evening, thank you for allowing us to come into your cemetery. We mean you no disrespect. We're just coming to say hello. We know we have protection around us. It's actually a really big cemetery as well. A couple of graves here in 1914. Now this is one thing I've always said that the living scare me more than the dead. I think cemeteries are very peaceful. I think they're a, an amazing place. When I was growing up, I spent a lot of time in cemeteries. I was at peace. I was happy just to wander them and look at the headstones and talk to the people that I was going to see. No one wanted to come with me. None of my friends wanted to come with me, but I had a great time. And I'm very grateful that I now have nice to come with me to visit the cemetery. Just to give you an idea how dark it is. <laughs> Ground's uneven, I better turn this back on. I don't know if I'm going to turn my eye light off. It's complete darkness. Anybody here that wishes to speak with us, please? Anyways, 
I have my O-light on, guys, is because I have no night vision, so I can't see a thing in the dark. I don't drive at night because I can't see, let alone walk. Actually, some of these graves are really hard. And again, it comes to the question that I've asked before, do relatives, descendants, visit them? We did get a lovely reply from a lady who said that she actually does visit her great-grandparents. And I think that's awesome. So that they're not forgotten. This is what we talked about when we did that other cemetery, the little gates that they built around them. They just did so much work and put so much work into it. This one's got a tree right in the middle. And then, yeah, you look at this sort of thing. It's even got a little gate here with a little latch on it. I had to see what year. Uh, 1906. Wow. So, this tree has obviously grown after the... Oh, that's just suddenly got brighter. Sorry, that's me playing with my O-light. Pretty amazing light, guys. And you've got ones like this one on the right here, <coughs> which is above ground. The old-fashioned crypt. Yeah. Well, you've got, looks like one, two, three, four, five people buried in here. 89, 80. Amazing. With places like this, the mind can play amazing tricks on you. Now, at the end of the day, if your brain says, oh, someone's going to jump out at me, or someone's going to do this, or what ifs your brain can play amazing tricks and you can actually fear scare yourself mm. quite considerably absolutely um this type of thing that we do it's trying to teach you that there's no need to be scared of the dead no need to be scared of those that have passed on they can't tell them. Like in life, in afterlife, there's good and bad. In life, there's bad people who do seriously bad stuff, end up in jail, worst case, executed. It's the same as the afterlife. There's good and bad. Someone who's, who's done bad on, on earth passes over, they're not going to be treated all with roses and, and everything else. They have to go to a different place to get healing. And a different level. Sometimes they can come back through with their negative energy. Mm -hmm. And that's where you get the poltergeist. And oh, wow, there's a little one here, age six years, age 24, and age 78. My father's house are many mansions. And that's a beautiful saying and one that's on a lot of headstones. For the age of the it's it's actually a very peaceful cemetery. It's that's beautiful. It's got a lovely feeling about it. Even um, though it is supposedly very One haunted. of the most haunted places. See, with our channel and, and what we do, we... Just don't take away a bit of that fear. We come in with an open mind to everything. We, we come with love and light and... And respect. And I'm sure at some stage stuff will happen, which we'll capture on video, which we'll share with you. But we, we come in with what we do as an education 
Like these are just beautiful. There's a beautiful one just here, which we're going to get to shortly. So you probably can't see, but it's pitch black. Pitch black. Come from way up there. Oh my goodness, we must have a look at that. <clears throat> look at that, guys. How's that for a statue? That is just incredible. Absolutely beautiful. If any spirits want to show themselves to us this evening, feel free to come close. Feel free to show yourself on the camera. Come here with much respect for you. That's quite amazing, this statue. Look at her, she's like looking up and the stars are out tonight. And if you look in the tree behind her, it shows her shadow. You just turn your own light away for a sec. And no, I don't think we'll pick it up. Yeah. Okay. Mm. It's quite cool. And this cemetery goes for miles. We were travelling up here today, and it was like, oh my goodness, we're not going to get through all that. goes for miles down there as well but we're not going to attempt. Just because guys as I said before I don't have a good back um, so hiking up and down hills is actually quite hard for me and unstable but any spirits that are here that would like to show themselves please come forward to the camera This O light that we're using, I'll just try and sort of do it there. O light, it's amazing. brilliant, absolutely so, fantastic. If you get an opportunity to get one, I suggest you do. A little bit expensive, but it has three stages. So that's stage one. That's stage two. And that's stage three, which we don't like because it's the strobe. But for me, who has no night vision, it is absolutely fantastic. It just shines for miles. Oh, 1875, age 12. Three things to you, Emily. Any spirits here like to communicate with us tonight? You're more than welcome to come up to our camera or show yourself to us. You have a beautiful resting place. It's too uneven. What do you want to do, spirit box? Okay. Fortunately, some of this is overgrown. I'm not sure if they have any caretakers that come here to do any more burials here. I can certainly feel a lot of spirits around me. As I said earlier, I have put up a load of protection. Um, wow, look at the size of that one. Goodness me. Um, but I can certainly feel a lot of spirits joining us on our little walk around the cemetery so thank you for joining us thank you for allowing us to be here thank you for the keeper of the cemetery oh there's a part of me that just wants to come pull all these weeds out of their graves <laughs> Hello. 
Yeah, I videoed it before. It's quite nice. How peaceful. I might try the spirit box and see who <coughs> wants to join us. Any spirits that want to join us tonight? spirits that want to say hi to us here at the Nike Cemetery. Thank you. Might just keep it going guys while we just go for a bit of a walk. spirit box, use the energy of the white noise. Tell us your name. William, thank you William. What year did you die? How did you die? Is all your family buried here? Is there anybody else that wishes to talk to us? Oh, someone just tapped me on the shoulder. Who just tapped me on the shoulder, please? Can you tell us your name? Tell me who just tapped me on the shoulder, please. Thank you for tapping me and not whacking me and scaring the heck out of me. Can you say my name? So my name is Mel. I can smell oranges. Mmm, so can I. Do you used to have, do you used to grow oranges? Can you tell us why we're smelling oranges, please? That's really strong. It is, isn't it? It's like a fresh cut orange mm. that you squeeze. When you just, you just open it and you just peel, sorry to mention that in your light eyes. So whoever's here giving us the smell of the oranges, please tell us your name. Mmm, it smells amazing. Did you like oranges? Did you grow them? The smell is so strong. And bear in mind, we are out in the open. Absolutely. And amongst... Like, there's no houses, there's no shops. There's, there's just... The smell of earth and grass and and oranges and oranges. You'll see a Christmas tree or a light lit up in the camera at the start of the cemetery, which is really pretty. All of you people here in the cemetery, I bet you love those lights. Not even. Trees. I can't even run it on with a tree. No, it's gone now. 
Well, thank you for whoever, whoever brought that smell through and whoever tapped me. I kind of ducked in and ducked out. Anybody else want to talk to us? One thing I've just realized, guys, doing this, you've actually got to think of your own safety. And it's only just occurred to me now that we are in the middle of this beautiful cemetery. <laughs> However, we Very late at night. are quite isolated. Mm. And as much as I can look after myself, I've got to think of Mel. Um, so we're actually going to sign off very shortly because you've got to think of your own safety. There, there are crazies out there. And as I say, it doesn't have to be at night time, guys. It just happens to be that sometimes it's quieter at night time. So the thing is, with us being new and getting these channels online, and, and there's all these little idiosyncrasies that we keep forgetting about and thinking right and later on we go that was a little bit silly or mm, perhaps we shouldn't have done that so I must bring a whistle yeah <laughs> that would be a really good idea I quite like to just before we do go go to the car and get the grid light and just shine it down for a little while I think that's a brilliant idea actually. So we've got a grid light guys which I'll tell you all about when we set it up. But I think what we'll do is we'll go get that. I don't know if you can feel that there's a gentleman following us. Uh, a spiritual gentleman. I don't know if you can sense him but he's just keeping an eye on us. behind me and that's okay it means me no harm gosh there's a lot of Georges in the cemetery Wow, look at this one guys, how cool is that? That is beautiful. You would not think it has been here since 1905. Amazing. That's the thing guys, if you lose a child, know that they grow up on the other side. They'll be there to greet you when you go. They don't stay a baby. Even if you had a stillborn in this They'll grow up. They'll be there to greet you. All right, so I'll sign off just for now. We'll go and get the grid light and we'll be back very shortly. So guys, we've got this amazing grid light, and as you can see, if it's shaking a little bit, that's just me. Um, it usually sits on a stand. But if there's any spirits that are here that want to walk through the beams of my light, please. Especially over the headstone. Can you break the beams? Okay, that's 
still. Yeah, it's really best on the stand because... It's really hard to keep it still. Yeah, I know. Because when you're breathing, it actually moves. I know. Although, if the spirit are here, you can still walk through that. Yeah. The spirit can, are able to walk in front of it and break the beam. All you have to do, spirit, is come close. Walk in front of that headstone that I've got it shining on. We will be able to see you. I've got the grid light on the ground. Walk through my light. Show us that you're here, Spirit, by walking through my light beams. Some of these lights go out. Use the energy of us, of the spirit box, of the camera, of the torch. Build up your energy and walk through this light beam. Show us that you're here. The person that tapped me on the shoulder earlier, can you walk through the light beam please? person that gave us the smell of oranges. Can you please walk through? And William. I have no idea why I always get a William. I'd like someone different to come through, please. No disrespect, William. You're more than welcome. Hi, guys. So we're signing off tonight from Napier Cemetery. It's pretty cool in there. It's, um, it's got a lot of spirit around. There's a lot of spiritual activity. We did talk to some people, both physical and non-physical. Um, so we'll check back on our footage and see what we did pick up. But it's a beautiful place. Whether it's haunted or not in a bad way, I'll leave that up to you. But I actually found it really lovely. Thanks guys. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe video and button for more videos coming out soon.